Hey everyone, we're here at Korg with the Volca Modular, which is a modular synth in the Volca line of synths, which features some really cool, interesting utility modules that can be used with the signal path that we discussed in the last video. Starting, of course, with the Woggle. So one of the utilities that you can find on Volca Modular is the Woggle section. What's a Woggle? Well, a Woggle is a random voltage source inspired by random voltage generators found on classic West Coast synthesizers. And this can be either stepped or smooth, so it kind of functions as your sample and hold to generate random voltages to spice up your sequences and send the modulation, the random modulation, elsewhere on Volca Modular. And that can actually be triggered because a sample and hold is essentially triggered and then samples a voltage from a input. In this case, the Woggle is sampling a random voltage by default, but you can actually patch in another source and sample that instead. In this case, we're just going to take the random voltage and we're going to loop function number two and then trigger the Woggle using that. So now we have a looping function that is triggering the Woggle to sample a random voltage whenever the function fires. And I can change the speed of that using the time knob. And then there's two outputs to the Woggle, the stepped and then the smooth, which is kind of a slewed output. And we can hear that by sending that stepped information first into the pitch of oscillator number one. And then we can change that output from the Woggle to the smooth output, and that's going to give us the same random sampling voltage, but it's going to be slewed in between steps. And we can use that to control not just the pitch, but for example, the wave folding. So next in the utilities of Volca Modular is the split section. And this is very useful if you want to mix two signals together or you want to split one signal and send it to two different places. So an example of that is I have a looping function number two and I'm going to send the positive modulation output into the splitter. And then first I'm going to send that to control the wave folder as we've done before. And now I'm going to send that information as well to the modulation knob on the source section, which as we know controls the degree to which the modulator oscillator is modulating the carrier oscillator. And you'll see that both of these knobs are flashing, which means they're both receiving modulation information from the split. Now the split can also be used to mix two signals together, kind of like we did in the last video where we sent both oscillators into separate low pass gates and they were mixed together afterwards and headed into the space out, we can also mix them using the split by sending both oscillators from their outputs in the source section into one of the splits and then taking the output of that, remember the split can be used going in either direction of signal, mixing or splitting, and that goes into the audio input of low pass gate number one. Now we can just hear both oscillators in unison through LPG-1. So the last utility on Volca Modular is actually what's referred to in the manual as the utility section, although there's many utilities on Volca Modular, and that is what I like to refer to affectionately as the attenuamixerverter, because not only does it have an attenuator, it can also mix signals and invert signals. So the way it does this is it has three inputs, A, B, and C. A is kind of your simple signal input which can take either modulation or audio signal. B is another input that can take modulation or audio signal, but B is multiplied by C, which is when nothing's connected to the C input, just an offset, which is just a value, or when an 
input is connected into the C input, such as modulation information or audio, the C knob determines or attenuates the level that is applied mathematically to the B input on the utility section. And then there are two outputs, and the output that you use determines what's happening mathematically in the utility section. Whether A is being added to B times C, or B times C is being subtracted from A. So an example of that, very simply, is to do what we did before, mixing both VCOs, taking the A plus B times C output, and going into the low pass generator one audio input, and once again taking both oscillator outputs of the source section and going into A and B on the utility module. And then I will have unison oscillators and C, the knob here, controls the amount of the second oscillator that's coming in. In this case, when the ratio is set to 1 to 4, it's actually a sub-oscillator because the second oscillator is two octaves below. Now I mentioned input C before, and that can actually be controlled with a modulation signal. So for example, we're going to loop function number 2 by connecting the end of cycle output trigger with the beginning of cycle input trigger, and then we're going to send that positive modulation output into C, and now that looping function is actually going to determine how much of the second oscillator, or in this case, the sub-oscillator, is going into our low-pass gate, is a part of our signal. Those were the utility modules found on Volca Modular. In the next video, we'll get into sequencing on Volca Modular and talk about exactly what the sequencer on Volca Modular is capable of. If you like this video, or you have a question or want to tell us about something you created on your Volca Modular, let us know in the comments below and remember to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.